Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to today's episode of Cooking with Chow. My name is Christina and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make charcuterie right at home. So a charcuterie board is super, super easy to make. It's like a cheese board that just has like a variety of like cured meats, fruits, vegetables, and then has that extra crunch, which comes from like either crackers or bread. It's so easy to make. It looks great and everyone loves it. So let's just dive right in. Okay, so first off, we're gonna start with some cheeses. So we're using a variety of cheese. I would suggest kind of to get like a nice variety of textures. So starting from like soft cheeses, so we're using a, a walnut cheese here, which a name I cannot pronounce, Ron, Rondelet, that's right. Sounds like Rondelet, but it's Rondelet. So we're gonna use this. This is a walnut cheese. This is a soft cheese that we'll be using. And then we're also going to use some brie. So I'm using a double brie. There's also triple cream brie. So essentially the difference between a double and a triple is that triple cream just means that it's like at least 75% fat. So that's kind of, the difference between there, but I prefer the taste of double cream. So that's what we're using today. And then we just have some classic aged cheddar, just some white cheddar. We have some marble cheddar, and then we have just the classic regular cheddar cheese. And then moving on to meat. So we just have a variety of cured meat. So we have some salami. We have some um, other regular salami as well. And then we have some prosciutto, some spicy salami, some um, Parmesan salami, and then some pepper. Okay, so um, in terms of kind of getting started, I like to kind of like visually kind of map where you want everything to kind of sit. So I kind of like to use these ramekins. So these are super easy. You can just get these at any grocery store. I got these from the dollar store, super easy to grab. And then I like to kind of look at my board and I like to envision where things should go. So I'll kind of be like, okay, so I will have maybe some um, pickles, which we are going to be using, actually. I'm gonna add maybe pickles to this corner, and then I'd like to have my jam be kind of, you know, the star of the show. So I'll have it in the center. And then anything else that I kind of want to put in, so either you can put in like, like mustard, you can put in maybe like some nuts or something, then I would put it in on this side. Okay, so let's kind of start with some jam. So I'll be using a fig jam. You can make your jam at home. This one is store bought. This one I got from Costco. Honestly, everything here is from Costco because I love Costco. I fully support Kirkland, okay? Um, so we're just going to just grab some of that fig jam and just place it into your ramekin nicely. Just toss that in. I like to use fig just because I find that like fig pairs like the nicest. I feel like with most of the things on a charcuterie board, it pairs super nicely with brie and like all the other cheeses. So this is kind of the jam that I like to pick, but you can use any sort of jam or jelly that you would like to do. So just add a nice couple dollops of that in and then place that on the board. Okay, and now we're going to move on to maybe doing some salami. So I'm gonna show you guys how I like to fold my salami. So we're just going to switch the containers of these. We're gonna start off with the regular one. So essentially all you wanna do is just fold it in half and then fold it in half like that. And then you basically just keep doing it. And you can either set like, you can make it like kind of look like a nice like deck of cards like this, or you can kind of put them all together and then just like kind of line them all up together. And then just kind of, you know, make like a nice little river throughout the board. The nice thing about charcuterie is that you can really channel your inner Picasso. So that's what we're doing today. Every board that I do always looks super different. So you kind of just do whatever works for you and whatever types of meat and cheese and fruits that you have. So we're just going to keep fanning that out. Gonna make a nice little set of cards, a little salami deck of cards. And like that. And maybe I'll just like put it right here. So you see how that like just pairs so nicely, kind of like if, you, if your board you're using has like ridges and stuff on the edges and this is like a nice way to kind of hide that. So that's what I would do. Easy in one, two, three. Okay, see, that looks so cute already. Okay, to whatever else we wanna kind of put on. So some people do it in a way where they, you know, start with meat, then they do the cheese. I kind of like to do a little bit at once just so that I build my board entirely together. But something to note is that any sort of fruit and stuff, 
you want to do that near the end just because it's like the water content obviously in fruit is much higher so you kind of want to save that for the very end so that you're not really like you know making the crackers like kind of mushy and like ruining the texture of that it incorporates like all of the nice nodes of flavor profiles so you have like the nice like saltiness from like the cured meat you have like the nice richness from cheese you have that like nice sweetness from the fruit and then that acidity comes from you know your choice of like pickles or like pickled onions right and so when you're eating it all together it is like just a flavor bomb in your mouth okay imagine like ratatouille okay that scene another note is that you kind of want to pair things that would taste well together like grouped similarly in the same area but the nice thing about charcuterie is that it's really hard to go wrong with fruit, cheese and meat like so i want the brie to be the nice star of the show so i'm going to put that just right up here in the nice corner i just cut that out and i cut out a nice little wedge it kind of creates like a nice you know nice look to it it's quite visually appealing when you're kind of taking a look at that so that's where i'm going to put that just right there Okay, so my great support team said that I should flip it over so that you guys have a nicer angle of everything. Cubed marble cheese, maybe in like this little corner right here. It's classic cheddar cheese, and we'll just let it kind of flow. Ivan, does that look okay? That looks great. Okay, cool. And then we're just going to do the classic cheddar the white cheddar. Now we're just going to continue just to fill the board. So with your um, prosciutto, I like to kind of just ribbon it, just kind of bunch it, and you can just like place it like right there, right beside it. Cards, but like upright. And you just kind of let that just kind of flow out like that. I kind of like that. It adds like a nice little nice symmetry. We're gonna use the other spicy salami, do the same thing. I personally like to just kind of fold it. I think it looks cleaner, but you're welcome to do as you please. I like to pick ones that are quite um, like neutral in flavor. Well, these are these are really great actually. These are from Costco as well. I think these are the Rain Coast Chris. But yeah, no, these are cranberry. These are great to pair just because it adds like a nice sweetness. I really like to use these ones. These are just a like classic, you know, crackers. These are some rice crackers. I think they're gonna pair great with the brie. So I kind of want to add them on the edge like this. We're going to do maybe some rice crackers and we're going to start to kind of fill in any sort of gaps. So add some nice rice crackers. These rice crackers are my favorite. They're on sale right now, but by the time this video comes out, it probably won't be. <laughs> um, oh, we forgot about the walnut cheese, guys. How could we forget? Mm, it actually smells really nice, actually. Charcuterie board turned ASMR, yes. Okay, add that in. Oh, it's so soft and fluffy, oh my gosh. Apples, maybe we'll add some apples like right here, right beside this cheese. That might pair nicely with that. So here I just have some chocolate covered um, pretzels, yogurt covered pretzels, something like nice and sweet. I like to use the dark chocolate ones. This is just what I like to do, just my personal preference. I got these from Bulk Barn. Bulk Barn is amazing. I love Costco and I love Bulk Barn. So we're just gonna add, you know, a couple chocolates, maybe like right here. Actually, Chinese is very weird. Cantonese is so weird. Like strawberries, like si strawberry, right? <laughs> like what the heck? They're so unoriginal. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Oh, we didn't even show them the, the fruit, guys. Okay, so I'm using a variety of fruit. Strawberries, figs, these add such a nice touch. Blackberries, raspberries, um, some green grapes here. And then I also have some, these apples are actually my favorite ones. I love that they're so light. They have like such a nice crunch to it. Pairs great with everything. If you don't have this, I would highly suggest a Granny Smith just because Granny Smith also adds a nice like acidity. So it would also pair really greatly with a charcuterie board. I have some giant pretzels here. I am going to add maybe a handful of them right here. So like you can kind of start to see that I'm kind of mixing my colors, mixing textures, and just like making it look like very like visually appealing, but also kind of grouped nicely with things that I think would pair nicely with it. Also, when you're doing grapes, a great rule of thumb or just a great trick is just kind of to cut them into like smaller bunches so that they're just kind of easier to plate and people, you know, don't have like a giant grape bunch. Okay, none of these are really giant, but you know what I mean. 
And then this is kind of where you just start to just fill in like the little gaps and areas with anything else that you think would kind of match well with it. So I'm just gonna add a couple more crackers. And then what I also like to do is, so on my brie cheese, we're gonna take some honey and we're just going to do a nice little like drizzle over it. Honey pairs super nicely with the brie. So just add that in. Take a couple pomegranate seeds, add that as like a nice little garnish. And then we're going to take a rosemary stick. I like to just take a small little piece of that. Just put that right there, you know, as like a nice little like decoration. Kind of makes it like kind of festive. It's all about the little touches, I feel like, when it comes to kind of like charcuterie boards. That looks so nice. Like that. Oh, everything's kind of falling off. And then just to be festive, we're gonna add this in too, you know? Add a little nice like dimension, maybe like, I don't know, where do we think? I can't see because it's like backwards. Right there, does that look weird? Oh, and then, okay, I know I'm so extra. This is honestly optional, okay? But when I'm making charcuterie, I'm either gonna go big or go home. So we're going to add some fresh flowers in. And I just like to place them like any areas around the board, like, so let's dig in. So let's grab, hmm, what do I wanna do? Okay, I'm gonna do, um, okay, we're gonna try, let's do the fig. I feel like that would be nice. Get back to work? Okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, let's just try this out. Hmm. Mmm. It's like fireworks. Literally, it's the ratatouille seed. Mmm. I'm gonna try a fig. Mmm. Holy shit, that's good. <laughs> mm. Sorry. That was really good though. It deserves a shit bomb. Mmm. That was so good. Okay. I really want to try this walnut cheese. So let's pick kind of more. Ooh, let's do a rice cracker. Love these ones. I think I already mentioned that. I'm gonna do the walnut soft cheese. Oh, look how creamy that is. Okay. And mmm. Mmm. Walnut's nice. It has like a nice like nuttiness to it. But no, it's really good. That nutty and creaminess is really good. Mm. So good. This time I'm gonna chew and I'm gonna show you guys I'm chewing, okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Honestly, charcuterie is like the epitome of just pairing like those levels and just leveling up in every single pl flavor profile. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> okay, okay, well, I had so much fun making this charcuterie board with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had fun with me too. Maybe you learned a little or, you know, just had fun with me, that's okay. And so, yeah, it's definitely nearing the end of the 2020 year. It's been a crazy year. So I'm wishing you guys a wonderful holiday. I will see you guys in the new year. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and we will definitely chat soon. Well, chat for now.